What's going on guys? It's Syschematic C10 and welcome to another little video. So, over the last couple of days I've, I've been uh, thinking of a couple things, few things, and uh, I uh, ended up making a purchase. And yes, it's probably another truck from the title of the, of the video. And uh, I, I went and, you know, found this uh, truck on offer up. It literally just kind of spoke to me, it popped up. I, it popped up and it really just spoke to me. I reached out to the guy and over the last three days or so, we've been trying to book a, a, uh, a time to, uh, to, to, to see us. And finally it came, it came about where, you know, times matched. And uh, here we are, this is the day after 4th of July. So hopefully everybody had a really good 4th. Um, and yeah, so I went off and I bought this uh, C1500. Um, it's a 93 OBS, so check it out guys. So here we go, a white one. Um, it's got about 185,000 miles on it, it's a V6, nothing too crazy. But the paint is actually really good, minus the hood. And uh, I think some of the paint, old paint came off or was painted and, you know, resprayed and it kind of popped off here. But aside from that, everything's really good. I mean, minus a few little things here and there. Um, it's just like a little daily, the guy said he had. And uh, I really was looking for something that uh, I could, you know, ride around in, in the meanwhile. You know, you guys know I got my 72 C10. It's uh, being um, put together, but it's just, I don't wanna rush it either, you know? And I need something cool to go from here to there in between the shows and uh yeah we you know we usually take you know justin's truck and that's cool and everything don't get me wrong riding passenger on a super cool truck but it's not yours right it's not yours you know as, as as much as you try to you know feel good about it it's still not yours and you know you can and then you know i can't really bring anyone with me i can't bring you know my significant other or i can't bring you know my kids and it just it just kind of sucks right so i decided to go off and just buy something to kind of bridge the gap this is kind of something to bridge you know between now and having my truck ready to go and it's something cool that i can ride around in um and i think this is it i think this is the perfect truck the paint is really good like i said I'm not a fan of the wheels. Uh, the wheels, the offset on them isn't, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the offset. It might just be the tires. They're a little too beefy for me, but it's cool. It's a, it's a cool little truck. It should do from uh, now and then. Um, here we go, let's check it out. The interior, I don't like the tint either, but oh well, let's see. Let me see. I think this is it right here. Mm. Oops. Uh, oops. I thought I was gonna log myself out, but I didn't. So here we go. That, so one of the things is that that door does not work. Um, the latch doesn't pull. You can open it through the inside, but not the outside. Um, so I'm gonna have to go to the junkyard or somewhere and uh, make sure i can or take it apart and see what mechanism isn't working there and then that's an easy repair i'm not worried about that the carpet that that stuff i'm not worried about the this you know some of so like i was saying the latch doesn't work but we can go to the junkyard and and fix it so for now it's gonna have to be like that it, it turns on cranks on right away so I'm not mad at that. Well, I don't know what the fuck this is. Oh man, you guys saw it first. Dude used to smoke 100s. I don't have nothing, know nothing about that. But yeah, here we go. Yeah, man, super clean. Like I said, it'll it'll do for now. Um, it's one of those body styles that are just, you know, not too old, but also not too uh, not too new, but not too old. And they're starting to come into like that classic 
you know, years, man. And this is like one of the most iconic Chevy trucks around, you know. This is, when you ask anybody, this is the Chevy Americana. Um, down here, we got, what do we got? Some, what are these, some like drag wheels or whatever. They're cool, but you said it's just too too big of an offset for me. They're cool. I'm just gonna, like I said, find out, figure out some wheels, and then we'll go from there. So let's take it for a little, a little, a uh, little ride, and then uh, let's do it. Come on, freaking water, because it's hot as, as, as you know, you know what I wanted to say. But let's take this for a little spin right now. So you guys can see how it runs. It does need an alignment. Every time I slow down, it like wants to pull to one tier or another. So the guy did say he had different wheels on and he said he recommended uh, I do an alignment on it. Um, so if the guy recommended it, then he probably knows. It comes with some, oh, never mind, some bootlegged ass cup holders. This is mine already when i want to go get it but uh yeah see here we go watch it's uh starts pretty uh right up no radio no speakers um for the meanwhile but uh i'm okay with all that let me see i think that door's open over here This thing runs like a charm, despite it's uh, 180,000 miles on it or whatnot. Um, I know the guy said it needed alignment, but it might not have a sway bar. So every time I stop, it wants to go to one side or the other. So maybe that's uh, a sway bar situation, or I gotta get under it, but it's so low the thing with the lower trucks i don't know if it's a four six five seven i can't tell the guy didn't know i guess he bought it like that so uh we're just going to say it's probably a four six between four six and a five seven um and that's kind of where it's probably at so let's see let's see where let's see where we take it not gonna lie something about an old classic OBS Chevy, more specific, Manny truck, classic truck, but specifically this one. We do have another 93, the blue one, that we're going to, uh, you know, do the works on and, and, and sell. But this one, again, this is my, it's going to be mine, right? This is the one I, I'm going to have for, for now for a little bit. And, uh... Yeah, man, I don't know. I, I can't imagine a Ford giving me this feeling, you know? I'm just kidding. Uh, it's whatever floats your boat, right? But for me, it's it's this. Um, you know, I've driven quite a bit of cars, and there wasn't, it hasn't been too many cars that have given me this kind of feeling that I'm having right now where it's just like, okay, I like this. So uh, maybe it's because, you know, I'm a Chevy enthusiast, and... You know, when you're an enthusiast about something or are dedicated to something, it's that one little object or thing that will uh, do this to you. But runs, you know, quiet, nothing too crazy. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to have fun cruising this thing around, right? Nothing crazy, just a little cruiser here and there. You, you guys, if you guys catch me out there, you guys probably see me in this. It's a, it's a white, obviously, it'll stand out. And uh, yeah, so I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's go see if uh, there's this place called, I believe it thinks like Gora Exhaust where they do alignments. Um, I might bring it here uh, tomorrow morning to, to see if I can align it, see if that's what it is or if they can jack it up and see if uh, there's something missing, something's loose. Something feels a little off here. I don't know if the guy knew what he was talking about or if, I mean, not that he didn't know, but right, but maybe he just didn't know what uh, what was actually wrong with it. But yeah, just cruising it. Gonna be taking, you know, the girls out for a spin. So here we go in 
all its glory. One last little quick walk around. You know, it's really, really clean, like I mentioned before in the video. It's really clean, and uh, you know, we're gonna rock with it for the time being. I already got this coming. This trim piece, I already got it coming. And then I'm gonna replace that uh, valance down there. That's like the 454. I'm not a huge fan of that. Here we go, here we go. So thank you once again for liking, subscribing to the videos and continue to do it. This is probably gonna be a quicker little kind of build or whatever where, you know, sw swapping things around. I'll be showing you guys how to work on the things that go bad on these trucks, uh, which isn't too, too much, but you know, there's a few things there that I gotta fix. I gotta fit the seat belt. I gotta fix the doors. I gotta fix a couple of little things here and there uh, for it to be, you know, 100%. So thank you guys very much. Again, thank you, all the love. Uh, continue to like, comment, subscribe. It's, it's amazing. Uh, alrighty, have a good one, guys.